stimuli that will make them talk serious, speak seriously with, with us today. Okay, even if we don't make the sale, if we have good conversations all day long with people, rather than being dismissed or rejected or treated rudely, how important is it for us to protect our ego all day long? Very. You know, how many people feel sometimes you make those bad phone calls important. when you're doing traditional selling and you, you're having a bad day? Do you want to make more phone calls? No. We need to protect ourselves. Absolutely. Let's go. We're, this is great conversation today. I appreciate everybody participating and everything. I want to read you something. Uh, prospects buy. They make commitments quickly, spontaneously, with emotion, not logic. They buy immediately because it feels right. They use logic to justify the decision. The better you are at making emotional connections through images, your words, between the prospect and your product or service, the easier it is to close. And we've got to get in that habit of learning rather than doing the logical intellectual presentation, getting into the more of the million dollar rule. People make those spontaneous business decisions. So if I was, uh, who's going to be a lawyer? Who's going to be the lawyer today and represent me? Who, and everybody else is the jury. I want a law. I want someone to be a lawyer today. Every, anybody here ever watch Boston Legal or, or law shows and things? Do you guys love law shows and everything? What, what does the attorney do when he's got the guilty party and he's guilty, smoking gun in their hand, the police, what, everything. But what does the good attorney do to the jury to nullify, their, to nullify the law? What do they do? They make it emotional, don't they? Steve, you, I saw your hand go up. So, Steve, I'm going to unmute you here, Steve. I can't unmute you for that. There you go. So, Steve, um, Steve um, uh, a robber on the street attacks, a, attacks a, blind, a little old blind man on the street. I see that robber attacking the, the, old, uh, the blind man, and I push him away. And, he hits, he, and that robber hits his head on an anchovy cart. I had to throw an anchovy somehow on an anchovy cart, and he dies. The police arrest me for murder. What are you going to say to the jury to, to nullify the law that says that because I took, because oh, uh, I overreacted, I killed that anchovy, uh, I killed that man when he hit the anchovy cart, the robber. What are you going to say? Um, this man is a, this man actually is a hero. He went above and beyond, and he was provoked. He was provoked into action by his, uh, by his need to to help someone, be talk, of assistance. Talk about the person you're helping, the sweet yeah. blind man. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Claude Diamond is on trial today for murder, and uh, uh, Claude is, is is a great guy. He has not any problems with the law before, and good upstanding citizen. So what he saw that day was an intent to kill anyone. He saw a, a, to, uh, someone in distress, in need. And he went to help them. And Claude actually was acting in the role of a good Samaritan to prevent something. Uh, as unfortunate, you're standing here uh, and I ask you to, to take away your feelings of, of the action that he did, but the reasons why he did them. Let's give him a, that was a good, that was damn good. That was good. That, man, you're my attorney, man. I'm, you're my, you're my guy. The other thing you could have thrown in to make it a little bit more emotional is says, can imagine that blind man on the street was your, your, your father, your grandfather, and, some, and someone attacked him or robbed him, and a good Samaritan, I love the word you use, good Samaritan, came in to protect him. How would you feel? How would you react? Okay. Exactly. Glenn Metheny, I think, who had, your hand, who had his hand up? Glenn? No, I was I was going to say the exact same thing that you said. Like, I'm sorry. Get, get the uh, the the jury to feel like a, a, a like it's a connection with their family. Like, imagine you know this is your grandfather and he's he's trying to get to where he needs to go, and out of the blue, someone comes to harm them. And this man, Clyde Diamond, turns around and 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 and, and saves this man's life. And here we are today. He's facing. Um, He's, he's facing murder for for actually really being a hero. How do you feel about that, ladies and gentlemen? Of the jury. Yes, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, guilty or not guilty? Please, could I have your verdict, please? Not guilty? Not guilty. Not 